Gold Milrad Net. AJ1G, Chris in Stonington, Connecticut. And uh, yeah, you're quite strong in QIX now, and uh, so far I've heard everybody. I haven't heard Ernie much, though, uh, of late. Just heard him uh, kind of weekly earlier on, and then that I've been in here since about, uh, at least listening, about 5.30. So yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm excited about the uh, uh, getting the IC7100 going. It, it's got 60-meter um, capability. First time I've had a radio with that, so... Uh, I may be able even to uh, check into Moose and Squirrel, and I think that's Channel 3. Steve, I think you check in there. Maybe you can uh, give me a, give me uh, some info on Moose and Squirrel. And that I think it's noontime every day, and uh, I think Pete sometimes the uh, net control on it, and I think it's on uh, Channel 3 there up on 60 meters. I got, I got a, uh, I don't have a fixed antenna for 60 up yet, but I did pick up a. Uh, uh, a 60 meter ham stick to use mobile and I'll try to check in as a mobile if I can do that today. Uh, all depends on how the, uh, the rest of the install goes. The, the when, uh, I've, I've already got 12 volt power, uh, heavy duty 12 volt power, uh, but that's specifically for the GRC9 in the truck. I've never put any, any heavy duty stuff for another radio. I've been running for years a little K1, but I just plugged that into the cigarette lighter, or the, the, the you don't really have to call it a cigarette lighter anymore, 12 volt outlet is a pair of them on the front of the uh, dashboard of the, uh, the Tacoma. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy with how the install of the physical install of the 7100 is going. It's looked like they might have, uh, you know, I can imagine considering it is a you know, Japanese radio and Tacomas are very popular, I think they might have picked that, you know, the, 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 it, they, it's a perfect fit uh, uh, in the uh, console. If I wanted to stick it deep in the console, uh, four of the cup holders, uh, you know, right on the transmission hub, the, the forward most ones, there's actually three of them on that truck, which is very nice. I could do it. Uh, there's plenty of room there, and it looks like I, I can snake the, uh, the power cable that's going to be to the uh, uh, the brick, so to speak, underneath the seat, but there's a, a control cable uh, for the head, control head, uh, that I should be able to, uh, uh, you know, bury behind the uh, the console uh, uh, flashing uh, re relatively easily all the way, and uh, it'll be a, kind of a wireless looking installation. But what I decided to do was uh, taking advantage of the pair of cup holders there in the front of the console and uh, somehow support, you know, the radio over that with a little plate or something. And this is some sort of cup holder adapters. And I found these uh, uh, for $4 or these molded plastic, um, uh, they look like a coffee mug almost with a with an ashtray lid on. They're like a, you know, a little ashtray, uh, uh, you know, cup that you can stick in a cup holder. I bought a pair of them. And uh, ended up just using one of them. It, they ended up being, if you set them up right side up, so to speak, you know, as, you know the shape of the, of the cup, they were a loose fit in the cup holder. But I noticed if you turned them upside down, the taper was such that uh, they would really snugly snuggle right into that, uh, you know, the rubber cup holder on the left closest to the, you know, to me on the driver's side. And all I had to do was uh, drill a hole in the, the what well, is now the top of the cup holder, actually the original bottom of the cup holder cup. Uh, I took the uh, ashtray lid off of it, which unscrewed. And the uh, the control head very conveniently has a uh, quarter 20 uh, drilled uh, hole uh, that would, you know, that's your standard uh, camera tripod thread mount. So all I had to do was put a little short uh, quarter 20 bolt through that cup and into the uh, radio and it's, it snugs right up on that, that rubberized cup and then it sticks right in there and uh, it's, it's a very good uh, location to operate as well. So I'm looking forward to getting all that hooked up. And, I, and the mount only cost me like you know, four bucks. They had some fancy ones for, you know, upwards of 25 bucks at, uh, at HRO, but I uh, decided to see what I could do on my own and I'm glad I did. So up to Steve and, uh, or excuse me, John up in PEI, you're booming right in. So far, everyone now is coming in very well. Um, w, or VY2WW in the old military radio net, AJ1G. Good morning, KK1K. 
No, that's right, dude. It goes to John. I'm sorry, it goes to John. VY2WW, go ahead. Yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, one k with a big signal up here. Yeah, very good. Well, the band is uh, is is doing real well uh, for all the closer in stations. Um, just to give some reports here, uh, N1GTY, uh, Ernie, you're you're the big leader here. Twenty on the line, last heard, and I did hear, I did hear Charlie down in uh, Georgia. Uh, uh, running uh, about about once an hour on the vertical here, but much better copy on the KIX SDR. Also, uh, KDR UMU in Kentucky. Yeah, uh, was also on the vertical. But much better copy on the QAX machine. We've got really a lot of QAX up here, uh, still still coming through from the Atlantic storms. W3 MMR uh, uh, plus 10 dB, uh, and KD3 HT also like running 5 to 10 dB here. Very nice uh, copy. And uh, you're still very strong, Ted, and Chris, you're still very strong as well. Uh, KK1K sounded like he was about 20 over. <clears throat> I didn't look at the meter, but very strong here. Anyway, uh, uh, what else to report? Uh, a couple of comments on PEI. Yeah, we had company last week. Daughter came up uh, with her husband and visited for a week. And boy, we had a, a lot of fun showing them around the island. And uh, it is a beautiful place. And I finally got up to Greenwich National Park, which is one of the most gorgeous places I think I've ever seen here, here, here in Ocean. Uh, with gigantic dunes and uh, uh, fantastic trails and walkways, including a floating uh, bridge walkway, a straight walkway across a uh, uh, freshwater pond and so forth. Just incredible, incredible place and yeah, beautiful place. Uh, so we've had great weather this summer in PEI. Well, it hasn't uh, been uh, as hot as last summer. Uh, and when I say hot, um, I'm talking hot in Canadian terms. <laughs> it's, it's been downright pleasant and mild in, in Virginia terms, or, where I hail from. So uh, we're, we've been really lucky. That high, the highest temperatures we get here are, are low to mid 80s usually. So and that does, that's not very often. So a uh, more typical summer day would be in the 70s. So. And humidity levels have moderated also. So it's been a pleasant summer. It looks like we're going to have another week or two of good weather. So I'm planning to get to the beach some more. Um, and radio-wise, still using the SDR here. And by the way, I wanted to say, Perry, you sound excellent on your SDR. I mean, non, that's what I'm using here on a non 200 b And you've got that thing dialed in as far as audio-wise. really sounds great. Sounds like one of those Class E rigs. <laughs> Uh, but I have a couple of projects that I want to sit on the, uh, on the, uh, in the, in the, the, the tool room, as I call it. It's a workbench and uh, a lot of storage. And half of the basement, just about, is the tool room. The other half is the shack in the office here. And I've got a, a R390A in there that needs to be uh, uh, thoroughly gone through, as, uh, as well as this little Halicrafter's... Uh, uh, screen modulated rig, an HT40, which I'm going to do the, the AJ0B mods to that. And um, I think that's a car. Some fellow in Zero Land has some really good mods for that uh, little rig to get it up to 100% modulation and fix some other problems with the audio and so forth. So I want to try that little 15 uh, watt uh, AM rig on in, through the amplifier here and, and see how it compares with the Anon. Well, I put a, D1, a D104 on it, <laughs> and on the R390A. I want to try that this winter. Hopefully, we'll get around to doing all that work. Still working on antennas here. Quite a bit of more work to do. And steel fabricators have the uh, uh, specifications that are constructing a tilt-over kit for the tower. And uh, we've got to get the tower up and more antennas on the tower. And, uh, oh, just um, a lot more work to do on the 80-meter uh, vertical here. We want to get the um, uh, tuned reflective uh, elements uh, guy wire elements so it's a little better and uh, and hopefully get up a better antenna on 160. So a lot of work to do. We're going to be running out of good weather. That's that's what happened last year. We ran out of good weather in the middle of October. So I'm planning on being very busy for the next month, hopefully. And that's about all I have here. Um, I'll send it back to you there. 
uh, Ted, and you can pick up on ch uh, check-ins and so forth. And uh, uh, I may be able to stand off another round, but if not, uh, 73 to everybody. We'll see how it goes here. Uh, don't, know, don't know for sure how long the band will hold up for me. Um, but everybody's coming through at least some copy on the vertical and good, really good copy on the QIX. Uh, W3 Papa Whiskey Whiskey and the Military Radio Net. This is Victory Yankee 2 Whiskey Whiskey. Okay, John, very good. Still uh, in here good and solid on your signal. So you probably uh, make another round here, I would imagine. Uh, Dean, uh, go ahead, KK1K, and pass it back, please. K3HVG. Go ahead, Dean. Okay, very good, Ted. Uh, W3PWW and the Milrat Net KK1K. Well, good morning to all. Uh, we're a little late getting up and getting the rig on this morning, but uh, came on and heard Steve KD3HT loud and uh, and that newly retired uh, guy from Connecticut was coming in pretty good as well. And uh, congratulations on uh, immediately starting on more ham radio projects. It sounds like you've got the right set of priorities there, Chris. John, BY2WW, very nice signal down here in uh, uh, northwestern Vermont. So uh, about 54 degrees here this morning, heavily overcast. We did have a very lovely day yesterday, and I'm hoping for the same today. Uh, uh, John, uh, when I hear you transmitting, it reminds me when uh, my family and I, the last time we were on uh, PEI, we uh, took the ferry from Anaganish over to uh, to PEI and then took the ferry back to uh, 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 New Brunswick. <laughs> that was before there were bridges in there. <laughs> so that was a long time ago. But uh, it was lovely then, and I'm sure it is now. Uh, Ted uh, will be around for the balance of the net and appreciate you calling things this morning. So, uh, back to you, W3PWW, this is KK1K. Okay. Very good. Okay, the only uh, stations I've had trouble copying is, uh, is Steve and uh, Perry. I guess they're still just a little too close. I would think this round will probably be okay. Chris, good signal. John, good signal. Charlie. Oni uh, was a little weak that time, last round. And uh, Charlie's in here good and solid also. Okay, one more standby for check-ins. Anyone out there for the net, please call now. W1AEA2EJT, W2EJT, good morning. Okay, I have EJT and uh, JUJ. Anyone else, over? W1AEA. Okay, got AEA also. Okay, let's pick those three stations up. We have WA2EJT, WA1JUJ, and uh, W1AEA. Then we'll go back up to the top. Joe, uh, up to you while we're still copying you. WA2EJT, go ahead and then pass it to WA1JUJ. Okay, Ted, this is WA2EJT. Getting close to uh, the end for me here, so I'll make this my one and only transmission. Great to hear you this morning. Uh, finally, Ted, I've been listening for about, uh, oh, something over an hour now, and I heard, uh, I heard Charlie, and that was about it for a long time. And then a couple of minutes ago, Dean blasted in very loud. Uh, working on all my usual projects here, and uh, was at the AWA conference uh, last weekend. And uh, again, great to hear you, Ted, and I look forward to seeing you at the uh, at uh, Gilbert. Uh, I hope you can make that, and I hope that I can make that. Okay, I'll leave it at that, and again, this will be my one and only transmission, but I'll be listening here for about another 15 minutes. And I, uh, I'm not sure the station that I'm going to turn to is going to hear me, so I might need some help here, Ted. Uh, WA1JUJ and the old military net. WA2EJT, go ahead. 
W-A-2-E-J-T from W-A-1-J-U-J. Okay, bye, Joe. Uh, a little bit rough copy on you this morning, but uh, I think I could hear you in there. Uh, Dean, great signal down in here. Um, and John, uh, coming in very well from uh, PEI. Everybody else going to copy well? Chris, Steve, Perry. Perry, the, uh, the SDR sounds really good here into Western Mass. And a little rough copy on Ernie. On the GRC uh, 19 this morning, running about 115 watts. Uh, out to my dipole about 30 feet. Not too much to report from the radio side of things. Been working up in New Hampshire uh, for the past uh, three or four weeks and uh, haven't really been around the shot. So I won't, uh, I won't hold it and uh, I'll pass this out to you or up to you, Jeff. W1AEA for WA1JUJ. WA1JUJ, Jeff Hall, Jeff Hall, Jeff Hall, Radio Net from W1AEA. Well, good morning, Kevin, and good morning, Ted and all. Those that I've heard uh, had really good signals. Steve was pretty strong in here. Dean, of course, blasted right in. And John up there in PEI, really nice signal this morning. I ran in the T368 this morning, listening on an R390. Haven't been in for a few weeks. Uh, just haven't been out here in time to get on, that's all. Uh, but up early this morning, so I thought I would... Uh, Come in and say hello. Don't have much to have radio wise, so it's been pretty quiet here. We've got a couple of projects in queue, but, uh, you know, waiting for some parts on that particular set, and uh, we'll go from there. So, with that, I'm going to send it back up to you, Ted. Uh, I'll listen out the balance of the net, but I think I'll be like Joe. I think I'm going to call it one and done for my only transmission depth. But uh, nice to hear everyone this morning. And thanks for running things, Ted. W3BWW, the old military radio map from WNAE. Everybody have a good day. Uh, Ted, K3HDG was in there as well. Ted, 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 Ted. Okay, K3HDG, go ahead. Go ahead, Jeep. Okay, thanks, Steve. Yeah, Ted is right down to noise level. We're just too close. 20 miles on 75 meters just doesn't get it. Okay, well, good morning, John. 83HT, W3PWW, and the old military radio net. Uh, on the commercial gear, here, 400 watts, uh, the uh, 1000D into an R4, and uh, all quiet down here. It's cool outside, 58 degrees. Had to put a jacket on at 5 o'clock this morning to take the dog out. Um, just cleaning up uh, after an, an attempted project that picked up at Berryville, which is a, uh, a no-go. Uh, anyway, uh, them's is the brakes. Don't know what we're going to do next. I should probably uh, probably get this uh, FT3000 going on uh, digital. Maybe I can discover a new realm of amateur radio. So that's it from here, Ted. I wish I could hear you better. We'll be around here uh, until 7 o'clock, of course. Uh, Steve, I guess you can change it back to him. Uh, KD3HT, KD3HVG. KW1I. Uh, go ahead, Dale. Oh, yeah, I just wanted to let you know I'm here. Uh, good signals. Uh, I've been listening. Uh, the bedside radio, was, the copy was so good, I, I found it difficult to get out of the sack here this morning. So, uh, uh, good morning to uh, everybody on uh, frequency from uh, Bow, New Hampshire. And uh, signals are rolling right in. I heard uh, John up in PEI, probably the farthest away, uh, and, uh, and Charlie earlier, uh, quite, quite good. So, uh, uh, good morning. Uh, Ted, W3PWWKW1I. Okay, they are very good. Now well, let's try to let's try to make a round here, going back up to the top. The N1GTY, Camper FNY, K3 uh, W3MMR, KD3HT, AG1G, BY2WW, KK1K. WA1JUJ, W1AEA, K3 
Central Hot Speed G and KW1I. See if we can get to one uh, probably final round here before we uh, quit for the morning. Up to N1 GTY, N1 GTY, go ahead. On GTY, pick it up. One more time, on on GTY, go ahead. Okay, I guess Ernie's going. Charlie, down to you, K4FNY, W3PWW, go ahead. Okay, Dan already checked out. Yes, he's working on his radio. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> W3PWW, the old military net, K4FNY. Well, I never did hear him. I, I tell you what, I, that's odd. Usually Dan rolls in here uh, with, with anything he puts on, so... The pipeline is down between here and Fort Knox, I guess. Anyway, Ted, uh, two more stations on this last go around. I'm going to go ahead and pull out on this one, too. Uh, uh, we got the project started here. I'm actually looking for a, a, a really very, very large piece of ferrite to make a, a, a experimental antenna for 17.2 kilohertz. Uh, I, I, I found a, a source of impeder rods for, for a welder. The rods were quite large, but they're still expensive. And for, for a family, I don't want to put a lot of money in something like that. I was looking for a big, big, big ferrite. It's about, uh, probably Billy, about 2,000. And a big blue stick antenna for it. See how that works. Uh, because the loose part is that I want to build it, it's, it's too big for where I want, for my space right here that I have. I, that, that's, that's what I prefer to do, but I'm going to try this there right there just to see. But uh, I don't want to spend 170 on, on a ferrite rod. <laughs> anyway. Uh, that, that source, though, was, was uh, actually for high-frequency welders. Uh, the rods go in. So uh, I'm, I'm looking for another source. Maybe one that's broken, I can cement it back together. Uh, it will work, it'll work fine. But no, no, not just yet, but I, I, I will. Uh, I found that with this project, this persistence usually pays off. You may not get the results if you want, but uh, anyway, you know that it's kind of, it's not a, it's not a failure if you just know something that won't work well. So let's we'll see. Uh, I've got it ciphered out here but already. I just need to get the components together. Anyhow, uh, I'm going to go ahead and sign it on this one. And uh, Trey, thank you for calling me this morning. Although the conditions were real good. Still, still didn't manage here a few states. Well, I guess it goes up to Craig to W3. Uh, go ahead, this is K4FNY73. Uh, 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 hey, Alright, Charlie, K4FNY73 anymore. <clears throat> Just switched over to the DX100 uh, here. I'm warming up for a while, and now the conditions have uh, improved for. Uh, for mostly everybody, and obviously it's going away for you guys down south. Uh, Charlie, I was a real light topic that last go around, but you've been, you and uh, Dan were booming in uh, most of the morning here. Um, we have just on the DH100 now, uh, listening on an NC303 uh, receiver, and um, and uh, I just wanted to say, uh, uh, John, AY2WW, thanks for the uh, the compliments on the Anon. Um, on the Anon, I'm just running uh, the Power SDR uh, Fetus, the new uh, the new software, and uh, using the built-in audio, using the Shure SM7B uh, microphone, and using the built-in uh, audio processing that comes with the software. No uh, external uh, rack gear, no uh, you know processing uh, programs or anything like that. Just the uh, CFC 
um, audio tools and the built-in um, EQ uh, for the uh, you know that comes with the software there so keep things simple and it seems to uh, seems to work um, because I have a tendency of going overboard with things over processing and and uh, things kind of get uh, you know, I, I, I end up getting ahead of myself. But anyway, yep, like I said, on the DX100, just a little full plug right into the front. And uh, everybody's signals have, have really, really come up. Um, so it's a pleasure to hear everyone on the NC303 this morning. Um, not too much going on this weekend. Um, new antenna should be here in the mail today. I purchased one of those 125-foot um, doublets. Um, from TrueLadderLine.com. I was going to build one, but I work six days a week, um, and I just don't really have the time. And with the summer heat, when I do have the time, I'm trying to relax and stay out of it. <laughs> so it's a 125-foot double um, fed with 600 ohm open wire line. Um, it's going to be in an inverted V up about 70 feet to the apex. And um, right now we're, uh, we have been using a, uh, a half-wave inverted V uh, for 80 meters, but that was blown down in the last storm. Right now I'm just using a G5RV uh, that I use for, upper, uh, for the upper bands, um, but the G5RV seems to be working okay. Uh, so it's uh, been sufficing here for the last week or so since the antenna got blown down. The, uh, the other dipole got blown down there. So, anyway, I'll keep it moving around. This is going to be my last one, Ted. I'm sure it's probably going to be the last go around anyway. Uh, great to hear everyone, um, as always. And hope everybody has a great week. And we'll talk to everybody, I'm sure, uh, uh, next Saturday. Up to you, Steve. KD3HT on the old military radio net. W3MMR. Say B3. Yeah, very good, Perry. A strong signal up here uh, now, and uh, the X100 sounds sounds great. Good luck getting the antenna up. I don't know how you're bringing it into the uh, into your shack there. If you're going through a four to one or a one to one, I use a one to one and let the tuner tune things out. That's why there's no heat in the bow and to worry about it burning up if you have a tuner that will move far enough for you, but sounds like the G5 RV is working well for you. Charlie 73, your signal had dropped way off. Uh, Jeep and, and uh, Ted signals are uh, way up there, so it sounds like the switch was thrown. Dean, Dale, Jeff, uh, good signals down here. Same thing with you. Uh, um, Kevin, uh, no problem. Joe, you were a little bit rough, but came up at the end, so that's all that matters. Here, I'm just uh, trying to uh, reduce the B-plus a little bit in a receiver and make that work a little bit better. Um, worked on some, did some chimney rock yesterday. My son and one of his guys was rebuilding the top of our chimney, so that should be squared away. There's a lot of stuff going on. The weather's been uh, hot, but beautiful. So this weekend's supposed to be even better. So looking forward to that. Hope everybody can get out and enjoy it. So uh, after me, I think it's still going down to uh, to John. And Charlie, if you're still listening, the reason why you might not have heard Kevin well is he was only running 30 watts. He was running a Ranger barefoot. So his signal was probably down from normal as it was. So hopefully uh, you'll hear him the next time around. I guess it goes to Chris here. So 73, everybody. Ted, thanks for running the net. And uh, go ahead, Chris. AJ1G in the group, KD3A.